Hello everyone, I hope all of you are fine, safe and healthy and today I will guide you about how to apply on DART PID scholarship or DART research grant scholarship. I will guide you about the long term research grant scholarship and later on I will guide you about the short term research grant scholarship. So I will show you on my computer screen how you can apply on this scholarship and which documents you need. Uh, while applying for this scholarship with educational documents and other documents and I will also guide you about the benefit of this scholarship what you will get after like selecting in this scholarship and uh, yes I will also inform you about the dates of this scholarship let's move to my screen so guys as you can see my computer screen <coughs> right now I'm on the Google tab and uh, on the Google search bar you have to just type the dot D A A T German Academia Exchange Service and uh, you just open the first, first link that will show in front of you and you just open that first link in the new tab and uh, here you can see the official DART website and the official page of DART website and when you will come down here you can see the scholarship for Germany, scholarship for going abroad, international program, the alumni. You guys just have to click on this tab, scholarship for Germany, and open it in the new link tab. And there's a one page that will become open in front of you. And uh, here you can see the scholarship database in the DART official website. Here the finding scholarship. Here you can see the refined research and here the scholarship options. And uh, you can do both things. We are you can also apply on this refine search and uh, you can also search on these lists on which scholarship you want to apply for today we are discussing about the dart phd scholarship so here these are the grants uh, for the phd scholarship research grant short term grants and uh, research grant for one year and this is the research grant for the whole doctor program so today i am going to discuss about this uh, the research grant for the whole doctor program and later on i will discuss about this one year program and the short term program so you just have to click on this and open this in the new tab otherwise if you can't able to find in this list uh, then you have to just put your uh, put this uh, the sign search and uh, option that pro program for the doctor candidates and the country from where you belong like uh, i belong from pakistan so i'm just uh, right here here i'm just writing here the pakistan if you belong to some other country you just have to write your own country and subjects let's suppose we are applying for the engineering program so i'm just going to select engineering and uh, refine my search and here you can see the 23 scholarship option according to my this uh, filter research and uh, here uh, I am here you can see the third option which I am going to apply discuss about today that the research grant for PhD doctor program so this is the this is the main page of uh, this research grant for doctor program and uh, as I told you this uh, uh, this scholarship is for PhD students and um, uh, who can apply for this scholarship those students who already completed their master's degree or diploma and they equal to uh, 16 year of education who can apply on this scholarship and uh, duration of this scholarship first you will get this scholarship for one year then after um, after one year you will able to like extend this scholarship and maximum this scholarship is on for four years and uh, after one year they will extend your scholarship based on your performance and based on your, your uh, supervisor remarks they will extend your scholarship <coughs> and the benefit of this scholarship you will get the 1200 euro for monthly stipend for doctor candidates and uh, you will get your uh, health ex health and accidental insurance or maybe any personal liability insurance your travel allowance and uh, your uh, travel allowance means your travel ticket uh, once uh, when you did there in germany and once when you and you will go back to your country you will get that uh, travel ticket your uh, other research allowance as well as your uh, monthly rent subsidies and if you are coming to germany with your uh, spouse maybe husband or wife then they will give you the, your family allowance and uh, as well as uh, they also provide you some language courses uh, free of cost uh, if you give some uh, tests for uh, your uh, german language learning 
then uh, they will reimburse your fees for that test and uh, so the these are all are the benefits of this scholarship and uh, the selection criteria of this scholarship totally depends on your academic qualification your uh, educational degrees your list of publications and uh, references as well as your research project the quality of your research project and the selection criteria also depends on the acceptance letter which you will get up from your uh, supervisor in germany so these are the main selection criteria and uh, if you open the application requirement here here you can see the country first you will check your country eligible or not and uh, yeah you can check here like uh, i'm from pakistan i'm going to uh, open the pakistan criteria uh, here is the Pakistan and uh, there is doctor program and you check your research and uh, here is the requirement your uh, last degree are not longer than 6 years before the application deadline and uh, the second requirement is uh, uh, you are not the resident in Germany for longer than 15 months so these two are the main requirements like the main eligibility criteria for this scholarship and uh, as well as for other documents like the language skill other you can check here in the application procedure tab here you can see the application document which you have to send them like your uh, educational documents or uh, one is on your online application form and uh, your CV uh, maximum three page of CV and the list of applications which you already have done and uh, others like your proposals your research proposal and if you apply for individual projects supervised by university teacher then you have to send them your acceptance letter from uh, your supervisor or maybe university professor teacher and also your schedule for planned research work and letter of admission all of these documents and if i talk about the language then uh, you have to send them the IELTS uh, which is uh, the minimum 6.5 uh, if you have a TOEFL then TOEFL is minimum 79 marks uh, after preparing all of these documents you just have to send them on their portal here you can see the option submitting an application you just have to open this option open this tab and uh, here the first register in the dart portal you just first have to register on the dart portal while clicking on this link and uh, there is the all procedure how you can like make your uh, online account on dart portal and how you can submit your documents on this uh, dart portal these are all are the procedures are written over here uh, it will bring you here this is the main official website of dart portal uh, where you will like make your login account make, make your login portal uh, maybe by giving your email address or by your password or if you already don't have any account on this website then you have to just click out here and register now and uh, it will ask you some detail about you like your name your uh, others related detail and uh, your email address your password and uh, after giving them this uh, email address your email address and password it will create your login account so i already have my account on this uh, dart portal so i will i will open my account and uh, i will show you uh, in a minute so guys uh, now you can see my account in, the, in this dart portal website so this is my account and uh, i just log in with my email address and my pass password so after opening this account and uh, you want to apply for this research grant so here you can see this option at the personal funding uh, first one is start project funding personal funding insurance others option here you can see the option of personal funding you just have to click on this option and open it and uh, under this uh, personal funding tab there is some uh, another option like start application funding overview application personal message and uh, personal data so if you want to apply for the first time and uh, you want to create your new application then you have to click on this tab application and uh, open it so after clicking on this application tab here you can see uh, first they they are going to ask you on about your program like on which program you want to apply for so today i am talking about the research grant for phd studies so you just have to research grant by clicking here whenever you click here it will show you a list of uh, scholarship options under the dot so and in this scholarship option there is an option of dot research grant and uh, whenever you scroll down here you can see the option of darts uh, research fellowship doctor study you just have to select this one 
and it will uh, show you here like doctor study and so after selecting your program on which you are going to apply for uh, here under this you can select your country from where you are belong like i am belong from pakistan so i am going to choose my country and uh, if you guys are belong from some another country you have to choose your own country of residence so now i am going to choose my country pakistan so in this list there is the my country pakistan and the targeted country country of course it's germany so after this uh, it automatically get selected after this you have to choose uh, other another option like your funding status commencement right now you are, you are applying for doctor candidate so you just have to select here the doctor candidate and after selecting and these uh, three cursor you just have to uh, further move on by clicking here on continue and uh, uh, you guys have to fill your own all all data in this uh, form and uh, they will ask you different documents like uh, here they will ask the application form and step by step they will ask other document as well and you just have to complete your whole application on this portal and at the end you just uh, have to submit your application on dot portal with your documents in the uh, sort form and uh, yeah this is the procedure to submit the application on uh, dart portal other your reference letter you have to send them your reference in the hard form on this dart uh, islamabad center if you are from pakistan and if you are from some other country you just have to search your uh, country dart information center and uh, send them your a reference letter on that address so this is the application deadline for last year and uh, for this year the application deadline is until 30th of uh, june 2021 so that's it for uh, the main criteria for this scholarship like the eligible criteria and the documents required for this scholarship so guys as you can see these are the main requirements for this scholarship like the main eligibility criteria and the main like other documents which you need to apply for this scholarship like this research grant for PhD and the last I will tell you like uh, your main document is the receptors letter if you have a receptors letter then you will are able to apply for this scholarship you don't have a receptors letter from any supervisor of uh, this German institute then you are, your chances for selection is almost you can say 0% or maybe 10% but if you have a acceptance letter from some supervisor then your chances will be more than 60 or 70 percent i would say so acceptance letter is the main document for this scholarship and one thing more there is no need for any professional job experience requirement for this scholarship like in the master study for under dart scholarship you have to show them with two years of work experience but in for the PhD grant you don't have to show them any kind of uh, professional experience or two years but uh, uh, them, there is some different criteria for this scholarship so i hope this uh, video will be helpful for all of you guys if you have any questions just comment down on this video and i will try my best to answer all of your questions that's it for today i hope this video will be helpful for all of you guys so bye